Uh, you're here because you love music, but you don't listen to music like I do. Um, I listen to music uh, better than you, so um, you have to listen to everything that I say. A lot of these older consoles produce bangers, um, I'm afraid to say. Not really, I feel like half of you would probably agree with me, and the other half of you are psychopaths. I've been using my Switch a lot more lately, um, I really haven't touched it since I beat Tears of the Kingdom, but um, I found a new love on there, let's just say. Wait, do you guys, you guys want to see this really cool clip I say? Watch this. big deal just got a watermelon now despite that i have been playing hours and hours on end of this baby sensory game you know i i've i've uh i don't really don't have anything else to say about that i'm playing a baby game but it's it's fun as hell anyway you're probably like angel why are you talking about the switch's menu this johnson is old and it's probably going to be replaced within like the next couple months here i that's my bet that's my 2024 bet is that nintendo um, is going to, at, like, at least announce that they're working on something new. Right? They have to. It's obviously well known that the Switch and the Xbox One have no menu music. It is gone. It disappeared. Uh, we went from the Wii U creating, like, the most beautiful things you've ever heard in your entire life. Like, we will get into that. Don't worry. We are, we are gonna spend at least 45 minutes on that. But the whole reason why I'm talking about this is because, yes, I have been spending more time on my Switch, but I remember last summer, my brother got a Switch of his own. Um, and we had to do like a little like data transfer thing. And on the official Nintendo website, mind you, there was this video, a tutorial video, with probably one of the catchiest and nicest tunes I've ever heard since the Wii U. to myself why wasn't this used on the console hello and like i get it i understand like you know it doesn't come off as like modern i feel as if to have some sort of menu theme bopping on your screen but i'm like there could be like an option to like turn it off am i wrong but we're not gonna, we're not gonna sit here and we're not gonna discuss whether i'm right or wrong talk about some bangers from the past. I want to take a look at the PS2. Starting off with a clear banger here, the thing about it is like, I could see myself as a child staring at this and being like, what would it be like to be sitting in there staring at these floating orbs? But at the same time, this is kind of how I always looked at the GameCube as well. Just like this dark vast area with just like one singular image on your screen but both of these consoles and those little tunes that are uh, piercing your ears right now i feel like really really resemble like that time period in those games that came out at least from like an aesthetic si <laughs> hello i almost said aesthetic aesthetic oh my aesthetic aesthetic aesthetic
aesthetic. I can say that, but I almost combined the two. I don't even know why. There's also a lot of like this guerrilla marketing that was going around during that time period. Um, a lot of like the graphic design that was being used was like super in your face and like edgy. <laughs> I feel like the ambiance and those startup sounds really coincide with how these companies were trying to market their products. We're gonna look at the PlayStation 4 now. I love the PS4 home music and sometimes it's silly to me where I think of myself in scenarios. Put me in the situation and then it's just the PS4 music. Like, like God sees me and he's like, put that beast in a situation and it's just like, you know what I mean? You understand. The Wii! Okay, I really don't like the Wii one. Um, sorry. Like, it's nice. It's- it's nice. But- but- shut up. Why did I do that? I meant to flip you guys off and I gave you a thumbs up. But the Wii has other bangers. Wii Shop Channel. The Weather Channel. The Me Channel. The news! I do have to give credits too to the Xbox 360. I really find like the avatar editing like music to be quite charming in a sense. It makes me feel very whimsical. Like I need like a lollipop and a little top hat with a, a propeller. Like playing and drawing, running outside. That's how I feel when I listen to it and I appreciate that. I just love like the attention to like how each channel on the Wii had like its own personality. But you guys, there is one console out there that is just, that is just the best when it comes to music. And you guys might hate me. I'm talking about the Wii U, baby. The Wii U. In a ton of my videos, I actually use the Wii U uh, Me Maker music because it's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Menu music though? Yeah. But there's something on the Wii U that's even more angelic, and it's the Wii U Me Maker menu music. Switch has the whistle. 